Hello everybody and today we are going to work on the room layout and the room schedule. It's relatively straightforward to do and pretty easy so let's get started with that. Um, first thing you want to do is go to the ground floor view and when you're in there you're going to right click, you're going to duplicate that view. So now we have that and let's rename it go uh, room layout. Yeah, so that's all changed over here. Uh, one of the first things we need to do with the room layout is we're going to have to get rid of everything we basically put into this view. Oh, there's that wall. Let's get rid of that. Click. Let's hide in view. So we're going to hide in view all the stuff in here that we don't want to see, which is just about everything. So any of these section views, we want to hide in view Do the category. So when you do the hide in view, let's make sure we do the category so that we don't have to select every single instance. Just like those outlets. Whoops. Click, hide and view, category, same thing here, so let's hide and view, so you notice things are really starting to go away, right here, this, so we just want the bare bones house, any cabinets, hide and view, category, and I got an electric panel over here, let's hide and view that too, category, all right. So that is your house right there with nothing in it, kind of like going back to the beginning. So the first thing we're going to do is with the rooms, we need one to separate out. So like I know this is my kitchen. The problem is if I go to if I go to the architecture function and I see room and I click on it, notice how it selects this whole area. Uh, you can see like a thin blue line going around. So this area is my living room. This is my kitchen, so I have to find a way of separating that out, and we can. So I'm going to hit escape, and there's the room separator tool right there. So just in case you can see it, let's escape out, room separator, and I know this is my kitchen. And I'll say my kitchen goes from here to this wall right there. So now that area is my kitchen. Also over here, I'm going to say this is a hallway. I'm going to go from here to there, and now I have a hallway. So now I can go into and do all my rooms. So I'm going to click on this. I'm going to start here, room one. And notice that it puts in the square footage, or actually, sorry, it puts in the 113 and the square footage. If it doesn't do that, so let's hit escape, click on this. All right, so we can go into room tag. Like that. Uh, then we can go into edit, right? So it's room tag, show volume. So we can show room number and area right here. So you want to check those off, hit OK. I can change room to living room. Living room, just like that. So my living room is room one, 365 square feet. Um, and now I'm just going to basically go in and plug in all of these rooms. So let's click here. I'll worry about the labels later. And highlight all those rooms like that. Now notice the scale is pretty big, so I'm going to change my view scale. I'm going to go, uh, let's try 316, see what that looks like. A little bit better, let's maybe go to the quarter equals one foot. Even better, right? And let's see if we can go ahead and change the text size here. And it's not going to let us, okay. But there we have it. Okay, so now that we have this in, the room, room one, 365 square feet, you're gonna go in and change names of these rooms. And the room number's not a big deal. Uh, utility room. Let's see if we can move some of this. Let's see if I can take a minute. Move it up, there we go. So it's a little bit out. If it if the names cover over stuff, that's fine. That. And we'll just go in, get all these. Take a 
second. All right, so that's everything labeled in the actual house. Now let's take a look. Let's, so like something like this, we want to move a little bit. So you want to just clean things up so that they're here, so even this, you can move that in. All right, so now they're kind of moved a little bit better. The drag that little arrow, like that. Once we have them all in, um, that's like the first step. Let's make sure we save. All save. Uh, now we can create the room schedule from this. So this goes into a sheet in, its, uh, in itself, and you can do this one with the room schedule. That is fine. So to create schedule, it's relatively straightforward for this. Go to View, Schedules, and Schedules and Quantities. I'm going to look for Rooms. Okay, schedule. Okay. We want the area in there. Add that in. We want the count. Put that in as well. Name. Number. And I think we are good to go. So we got name, area count, name, and number. So that's good. We can move this uh, the name up to the top. Doesn't really make much of a difference. And we hit OK. Okay, and so when we hit the button, we get our room schedule two is created. Notice it's got the rooms over here, what they're labeled, and it has the areas, the count, and the number associated here. That's your room schedule. Uh, it's relatively straightforward. Then what you're gonna do is you basically create a new sheet. We can drag over our room layout and like that. So this is a quarter inch to one foot. You can change your scale a little bit if it makes it better. And then I'm gonna bring in my room schedule here. Like that. And that's one sheet done. That has got the room layout and the room schedule basically saying their square footage, the count, and the number right there. Um, you can go in, change the names of all your stuff down on the bottom here, and that's it. So I hope that this was uh, what you needed to get this done. And if you have any questions, let me know. Have a good day. Bye.